namaste pisces welcome to my channel this is crystal the high priestess let's find out who spirit pisces sun moon rising to venus pisces spirit what do we have for pisces sun moon rising to venus pisces sun moon rising to venus the high priestess <laughs> Pisces, this is us. Listen to our intuition. All right, I gotta leave that card out. That's us, Pisces. Okay, so this reading is gonna be for us. All right, so pay attention, y'all. At the end of the reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I will do two readings. If you're dealing with a water sign, I'm gonna do a reading for Pisces dealing with water sign, and then Pisces dealing with a uh, air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini past two months i've been getting those readings and i want to see who you're dealing with and what's the situation all right so spirit what do we have for pisces sun moon rising and venus our lovely pisces my sun sign is in pisces whoa pisces all right it's the only card that flew out today so we got the three of wands all right so it's a long distance relationship someone is thinking about someone in the distance or someone online dating what do we have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Pisces. Pisces spirit. What's the overall message for our lovely Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Wow. Did you guys see that? It was just like... <laughs> it's crazy. So this is a Taurus. All right? So this is like a marriage or a husband type man. All right? So you might not be in a marriage, but it's just someone committed. Someone that you committed to that you're thinking about or someone that you want to commit to. All right. What else do we have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus spirit. A lovely Pisces. Pisces birthday is coming soon. All right. Pisces, sun, moon. Ooh, your cards are flipping out today. So you have the King of Swords. All right. This is a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I'm telling you guys, watch my next video. I will do a, 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 um, a reading based on Pisces versus Libra. Aquarius Gemini see what the energy is about so so far that's a Libra Aquarius Gemini individual or someone just with a sharp tongue or our energy we feeling like we had enough we're not taking no more crap from people anymore we do have the hangman Pisces this is Pisces energy all the way all right so Pisces you are all over this reading what do we have for Pisces Sun Moon Rising and Venus is about hanging and waiting for something but we're no longer waiting all right, so you have the Eight of Cups. Someone walked away, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or you feel like you might have to walk away if things don't get better. The Five of Cups. Someone is mourning a loss of a past love. You do have the 1111 card. You want to get married to someone or someone wants to marry, get married to you. You have the King of Cups in reverse. All right, so you might have another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio who might be a little upset with you. And you have the Eight of Pentacles, all right? So you're focusing now on love and no longer want to be single and you're not focusing on yourself. You're focusing on love. Wow, Pisces. You have the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is beautiful. And you have the Ace of Cups, all right? Someone wants to offer you a new beginning and a cup of love. This is all the future here, all right? So let's get to this reading. Ciao. That was beautiful, all right? So, so far it looks good, Pisces. What do we have for Pisces spirits? Someone rising to Venus. Pisces this is the future my readings are three weeks in advance and this is the current situation all right so spirit is saying to listen to your intuition it's the high priestess here Pisces Cancer Scorpio why is that okay let's get this out okay this is the queen of swords along with this king of swords all right so someone is feeling shut out and perhaps it might be a, a Libra Aquarius Gemini that you are ignoring all right and they are feeling a little defensive and a little upset with you you might be not you probably shut out a, a libra Aquarius gemini maybe they was coming on too strong and you're like yo chill out you know what i'm saying let me breathe a little bit why is the three of wands whoa okay the fool not taking a leap of faith the five of cups mourning a lot a, a, a mourning a lost of a past love it's the five of cups that's aries and you also have pisces cancer scorpio there you have the seven of pentacles and the eight of pentacles, all right? So someone is mourning a loss of you in this relationship, 
and someone wants to build a, a love, a, a family with you. Someone wants to buy a house with you, perhaps move in together. All right. Someone else is waiting for you in the distance. This is someone in the long distance. All right. That's the three of wands. We clarify that with someone is missing you and wants to take, wish they had took that leap of faith. That's what I see with the fool in reverse. Someone is like, oh, I should have been with her. I wish I should have kept her when she was around. And they are mourning you. And they're trying to wish for you to return to them. Why is the high, the Hierophant here? All right. So we do have, the Hierophant is messages running in. Someone wants to run in with a message, all right? And it could be involving like a marriage, a proposal. All right? Someone wants to propose to you, Pisces. Yup. Yep. Or is a marriage or someone don't want to lose you. You're walking away from a committed relationship. Right? Why is the King of Swords here for uh Pisces spirit? Who's the King of Swords? All right. So the King of Swords is the world. All right. So this is a Scorpio reverse. All right. So it might just be a Scorpio in your business. Right? Talking about you behind your back, I think. Or Aquarius Leap and Gemini might be talking about you behind your back. Why is the hangman? Whoa. The death card. Yeah, a Scorpio. <laughs> Child. And it came right out with the five of swords talking crap behind you, your back. Like I said. All right. All right. Let's put that here. Someone is talking about you. Maybe not talking good about you, Pisces. Someone might be envious of you. The hangman. Whoa. Okay. You see that, Pisces? All right. So this is a page. Someone wants to return and offer you a new beginning, Pisces. It might be a Scorpio, a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Let's clarify who's the page of cups here. Who's the page of cups spirit for Pisces? Who's the page of cups for Pisces spirit? Who's this page? Who's this page of cups spirit? Whoa. All right, it's a sword. All right, somebody's freaking crazy. Like I said, and it's a death card again. It could be a freaking Scorpio. All right, so you're dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or a Scorpio who's, um, who wants to be a new beginning. It might be a relationship, just a friendly beginning with you. And you're just like, I don't know. You're thinking about it. You're hanging here in the hangman position. Like, I don't know. Something feels sketchy about this dude or this female. Something feel a little fishy here. You know, you're coming on too strong and you feel a little weary. Like, what are their intentions? Why is the eight of cups here for Pisces spirit? Who's walking away? Why is, is this you walking away? All right. Yep. The five of cups. Pisces kiss is Scorpio. All right, so someone walked away and someone is mourning you. Someone is sad that you walked away or they walked away from you. And someone wants a new beginning. This star is about having a new beginning or it could be dealing with a child. And you have the queen of pentacles. Now, the queen of pentacles could be another woman or third party here. Maybe you found out your partner was going back to their baby mother, baby father. You walked away from their asses. Let's see. Yeah. So then you got the devil here. In reverse and the six of cups someone someone from your past is not to be trusted here in this relationship if they ask for a reunion all right a pisces cancer scorpio energy here because they dealing with the fucking another person they dealing with the capricorn taurus virgo all right let's verify who the fuck this devil is why is this devil here for pisces spirit who's the devil all right you got the king of pentacles a taurus capricorn virgo yep and the Knight of Wands, someone's a fucking player. Someone is cheating. There's a third party going on for some people. You got some You got some third party energy going on in the current situation here. Now, let's get into this Five of Cups and the Four of Wands because we do have marriage and, and the Ace of Cups, all right? A new beginning. Someone wants to start a new beginning with us. Why is the Five of Cups here, Spirit? Who's the five? Why is the five of cups for Pisces? Temperance. Have patience. A Sagittarius. All right. And a, and a knight of cups. Wow. So a Sagittarius wants to come in or Pisces cancer Scorpio wants to offer you a new beginning after someone walked away. All right. After you walked away, somebody want to get their shit together. Why is the four of wands here for Pisces spirit? Why is the four of wands here? 
Why is the Four of Wands here? Why is the Four of Wands for Pisces here? Why is the Four? Who? Alright, so the Spirit don't want to jump nothing out for that. Alright, Spirit. Why is the Four of Wands here for Pisces? Whoa, the whole freaking deck comes up. The Four of Wands. Whoa, okay. Alright. I can't. I got to take them all. This is crazy. I took the first couple. So we do have a page. We have an ending. The Four of Wands. It's heartbreaking pain. Spirit is saying to listen to you. It's a wish you have Pisces heavy in here. And you you have a Aquarius leave a Gemini feel hurt and betrayed. All right. So someone wants to end this heartache and pain and want to come in and offer you a relationship, Pisces. All right. But you cut off communication of Pisces. The high priestess and the upright is cutting off communication. And someone is feeling in, like tra sad, you know. A Libra Aquarius Gemini feel here. Or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They wanted to come towards you and offer you a marriage or a stable relationship, but somebody is shut out. Someone is ghosted or blocked. All right, let's see. Why is the King of Cups here for Pisces, Spirit? Why is the King of Cups here for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the King of Cups here for Pisces? The Ace of Pentacles. So you have a Pisces Cancer Scorpio who's working on building some money and shit like that because they they couldn't they didn't have enough fucking money to fit the bill. All right, so you have the Seven of Wands and Temperance. Someone to have a patience and feel defensive because they don't got no money. All right, so why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Pisces Spirit? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for for Pisces? Why is the Eight of Pentacles Spirit here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Pisces? We're going to do the sexual cards for the, um, why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Pisces, Spirit? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here, Spirit? Ooh, child, the whole deck flew out, you guys. All right, so we do have, um, Pisces, your energy is all over the place here. We're gonna use a se sexual card reading for this other for this king, the Ace of Cups again. All right, so you have the Five of Swords. Wow, you have a lot of cards. The Karma card, the Six of Cups. Look at this, the Shadow side. Someone being sneaky and shit. All right, so that's a um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio can't be trusted. You have the Five of Wands. You're gonna be fighting. Someone is gonna say, "I want to have a family with you." And then you have the five of swords. Someone's going to stab you in the back and betray you. That's why the eight of pentacles is here with her back turned. All right. So we turned our back on this individual. All right. So let's figure out who it might be. It might be somebody we really love. Someone is going to play us, but we got to find out who. Let's get into this sexual card reading here and find out who are we. Actually, let's get to this other one. Who is these people? Why is the Queen of Cups here for Pisces? If you are female Pisces, this is saying you got love. If you are male Pisces, it's saying it might not be a, it might not be love. Let's see. And then we have the Five of Chalices here. Someone is going to be begging for you to take them back. Someone from the past is missing you, Pisces, for real. Or you are missing a water sign. Why is the King of Cups? This is a couple. Why is the Wow? Okay. Okay, so you have the Hierophant. So the male Pisces is the Hierophant with the third party here. And they all about just having a, um, a threesome. <clears throat> but if you're a female Pisces, you want this wish fulfillment. If you're a female Pisces, someone is begging you not to leave them. Like, please be with me. I love you. I want to make things right. And then the Pisces male is just focusing on having a freaking threesome. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Pisces spirit? All right, so this flip, I don't know how it came out, but we're going to put it up right anyway. Ooh, okay, so you have the Ace of Pentacles, stability. Someone wants to give you just you. Someone just really want to be with you, Pisces. Someone is going to take this, this relationship serious. Wow. And then you have the Ace of Wands. You got two beginnings. You got three fucking beginnings. Look at this shit. And you got the Ten of Cups. Whoa, Pisces, I'm scared of you. So in three weeks, Pisces, you're going to get your, your partners coming in. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is all cups and one fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. All right. So you got two beginnings and an ending. A beginning and an ending. 
and you're going to have the Ten of Cups in the end. That's the happy family card, the wish fulfillment, just all about you. That partner is going to commit to you. They're going to leave the third party people alone and, and finally give you that cup of love, Pisces. This is what I see. So this is your reading for the next three weeks regarding uh, love. But I will be back in a couple of days and do my lovely Pisces as always. And namaste.